Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my very first watch along slash play along reaction, whatever you want to call it, to the movie trivia showdown. My name is Jeff Malaki from Jeffito's Movie Blog. I have been a fan of the showdown for a long time, and I thought that this would be the perfect match for me to start reacting to and playing along with the showdown. Because competing today in the team match is Late to the Party. If you're not familiar with Late to the Party, they also do reactions and play-alongs to the Schmodown. They got invited to the free-for-all a couple months ago, and now they are having their first chance to compete in the Schmodown itself. So, I am really excited to play along. I love the movie trivia Schmodown. I love movie trivia in general. As you guys may or may not know, I participated and competed in Masters of Movie Trivia over on Sean Chandler Talks About. Links for that are up here if you want to watch that. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's match. It's a team match between Late to the Party and Team Action. Let me go over here and let's check this out. That's correct. Oh my gosh. Right. And now, oh for the my chance God. to win the game, we can count. <laughs> yes. Ten. Oh it my all gosh. comes down to this. I mean, come on, guys. Let's be real here, okay? We're the future of this league and everybody knows it. Now, where's the belt? Okay. Uh, well... Uh, they did hold it for a while. <laughs> well... I do not like team action. I'm sorry. Asshole. <laughs> Mike Tyson, 1996. We don't even have to bite your ear off, okay? We're gonna beat you clean, plain, and simple. <laughs> oh, you wish. I'm I'm on team lead to the party. I I, I really hope that they win. And I hope that dinging from my group chat is not picking up in this audio here. I may have to edit that out. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. I'm showdown. I'm getting out like Mark Ellis is out, but his jacket is here. I can barely fit into it, but I'm trying, Dad. I'm trying. Well, we had not just today. What can you do? Listen, um, this is a big, big thing to happen here. Yeah, it really is. You look at this crew here. We've got the late to the party crew, and a lot. Of, maybe some people watching. Oh, well, who's that? I'm going to tell you. Late to the party, Ken. One of the big things that happened here mm -hmm. during this schmodown, fans started to do reactions. There were tons mm -hmm. of fans that got so invested in the schmodown, they began to react to the videos and they watched and they said, "I saw a lot of these, and I was really impressed with a lot of them. I was really impressed by late to the party. Not only were they invested and knew what was going on with the rules." But they started to answer questions right. And they weren't Googling the answers. They were legitimately answering them right, right. there. And, and, and you saw the dynamic that they had. They, they got what the game was. They got what we were doing here. And it made me reach out. And I said to them, I said, how would you guys like to play in the actual league? But first, before we did that, they came to the free-for-all. They met everybody. We found out they were in a bunch of crazies. And right, we invited right. them to, to participate. We kind of <laughs> shook them down, vetted them. Yeah, like, <laughs> it is truly a Cinderella story, Christian. It's like me when I go to Del Taco and they put an extra burrito in that I didn't pay for. Sometimes life just gives you opportunities. Well, it is, <laughs> like, but they have a lot on their shoulders here because they are representing the fans. You, right. the first, the first time fans right. have come in to play in the league in actual league play and they don't have an easy task they're going up against a team that you're very familiar with in team action team action we defeated them we be the nerds watch but barely. it was barely and we left a lot of blood on the tracks i have no doubt that ben and andrew absolutely are rising stars in this league and this might be a loss christian today by team action that sets them back we're going to say, I mean, look, they, they certainly don't want, they, they've been talking a lot. They've been talking smack yeah. on Twitter. And to, to listen, to the credit of late to the party, they're firing right back. They're not intimidated. Right. They've been going right back and forth. Both Good Robert for and them. Vanessa, 
going after them. But we can stop talking about it. We're just going to show you some stuff right now. We're back. <laughs> we never left. We've been living here for the last month practicing. <laughs> Look, I study like, I don't know, two, three minutes ever on trivia. I'm just kidding. I don't study. We've got all the cards we need. Are you kidding me? Studying's are for nerds. And speaking of nerds, that last match was utter BS. Look, I read on, on, on Infowars that that fucking thing was rigged, okay? The commissioner obviously pulled some strings. Yeah, him and Ken and their brunch dates. Hello, Hello there. there. I'm Robert. I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party, and we are at the Schmodown at Collider. I'm so excited. I'm just bursting at the seams. You have no idea. Yeah, this definitely is unprecedented. When Vanessa and I started doing reactions to trailers and reviews, and the Schmodown. We never thought that we would be here at Collider giving our efforts that is and so cool. our trivia knowledge, which is frightening as well. We're very, very honored to be here today for this charity event. Yeah, we're very these, honored. Uh, these <laughs> charity event, a, come on. opportunity to compete against two of the greatest competitors in the league. And it's a very fair charity raising money for hair dye and wheelchairs for the Schmoes. You yes, know, it's yes. important cause. I feel like Mark Wahlberg in Rockstar. Stand up and shout! Getting pulled from the fans up onto the stage to <laughs> carry on the name of Collider. And it is remarkable, again, that we are in this situation. I can't wait to get in the ring. Who are we playing against? I don't know. Do you actually think I prepare for this sort of thing? We come in, we win, as long as the matches are not rigged. I heard they bring you couches. Wish. Is there a couch involved? Oh, oh yeah. They're going to react to us. Oh, you guys are going to watch <laughs> us beat you and then react to it. That sounds great. All in the name of charity, of course. Team Action? <laughs> Who are these guys? They think they're big, tough dudes? Well... With wait and see, okay? We know that you may have a couple lucky breaks. Actually, the lucky breaks is more Andrew Guy. But, Ben, we know where the weak link is, and we are coming for it. <laughs> <laughs> a loss to late to the party? <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. You see uh, team action. As we know, those despicable, the despicable duo, they're back, and they're talking a lot of science, calling, calling late to the party amateur hour and, and saying they don't understand why that they're here in the first place and, and taking the shots. But like I said, late to the party, firing right back, giving them some slack for missing uh, Thunderlips. That was one they mm -hmm, brought back. Mm -hmm. I think that if, if you hear, if, um, if they heard that, they'd probably cringe a little bit remembering that painful moment. Right. So it, it, they definitely, it's, it, it's starting to be a very anticipated match. This could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity turned into a career. You don't know. We're going to find out. Why don't you go ahead and give me a tale of the tape? Yeah, absolutely. I was interviewing everyone before in the bathroom, which was odd for some of them. <laughs> but Team Action has a lot of strengths. Uh, action movies, of course, we know. 90s movies and rom-coms, which those cute faces, I guess, it makes perfect sense. They're like a Gerard Butler come to life. And, uh, of course, laughing at nerds is another strength that they do really well. Uh, late to the party, Robert and Vanessa, they, their, their uh, skills include Star Wars. That's mm -hmm. good. I respect that. Disney movies. Also waiting in line at Disneyland. And <laughs> Christopher Nolan movies. And being late, it's not just a brand. It's a way of life. All right. Okay. Ken, I'm ready to go. You ready to go? I am ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready to go. for the movie trivia. Schmodown. <laughs> Introducing first. Representing fans everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, Vanessa, Rob, Lee, to the party! I like it, I like it, they're in it. Look at that, the nerds at the Landa, Landa, Landa. I like it. And you got Tim and Ashley coming out with them. The whole Late to the Party crew is here. They're having a good time. They are they know soaking they're it up. They're they soaking it up. They're good luck, guys. They're not just here on a dream, Christian. Looks like they do have a goal. No, and what I love is that I didn't have to tell them the rules. I don't have to tell them where to sit. They've seen the show a billion times. It's, it's perfect. And their opponents. Representing the Popcorn Talk Network. With a record of one win, one defeat, Drew and Ben Team Action! Boo! Okay, they got their chairs. What? Okay, this is, I don't know, there's a computer with them too. They're 
sitting. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, oh, they're high fiving. They're, they're high fiving now. I think. What? Oh, they're reacting. Oh, they're reacting. Oh, they're reacting. They're reacting. <laughs> they're, re they're, they're reacting. <laughs> <laughs> they're really poking oh, wow. at him, huh? Oh, they're making, they're making, and look, and, and you got Rahul. Now he's making a little fun too. The team action really throwing. Oh it. my! It's, it's good reaction there too. And now they're gonna, are they gonna shake the hands of their friends? We don't know. We don't know. We're, we don't know. It's pretty serious. Right next to them. Okay, that's fine. All right, so Ben and Drew are there. We've got Rob and Vanessa are ready to go. Ken, this that was a good good intros by both teams. That was solid. I really, really enjoyed As much as I hate to admit it, I enjoyed what Team Action did there. I, as, as a guy who would, they would have picked on in high school, I'm a, I'm a little grumpy about it, but it's good. The fact that you had to cheer for that. Yeah, it was, it, creative, it was funny. It was, it was funny. Creative. I give them that. I think they're winded, though, from carrying those chairs up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so let's, uh, can only let's, hope. let's get ready to go here. Round number one works like this. The competitors are going to get eight questions worth one point. Let's apiece. go. They're going to write it on their whiteboard. When it is time for them to be called out, they're going to reveal their answer to the camera and say it at the same time. They will have 15 seconds to answer. They have the JTE rule. Three times they can ask to repeat a question. They also, there's a challenge rule. They'll be able to use one challenge per match, and if it is overturned, then they will keep their challenge. If it is not overturned, they lose the challenge. All right, Ben, Drew, would you guys, are you guys ready to go? You know, Christian, we just wanted to thank you so much for inviting us to do this. Sure. We're I mean, really we proud to be a part of the first charity match here. Yeah. Oh, Schmo down. Charity we match. Are, Come on. All right, all right. Okay. We don't really get to do a lot of charity, and congratulations for winning the uh, the sweepstakes, guys. That's really exciting. Wow. It's exciting. It's impressive. You guys to be here. caller twenty five, or how, how exactly does that work? Well, man. Quit with the smack talk. Let's passes get into this. On your winnings. Just like that, the fans oh. are, the fans are booing. Wow. Just like that. Okay. Got some heat going on. Uh, you did you bring your family? The radio station. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So, okay, is that your Wait, mom? Rob, Vanessa, you guys, you guys, you guys, good to go? Uh, I think we're ready. Ask we your questions. We are not afraid. All right, then let's get ready to to schmo down. All right, round number one. Here we go in the category of animated. All Cinderella right. had one wicked stepmother. How many jealous stepsisters did she have? Do you have any jealousy in your life? In my life? Yeah. Not currently. Oh. Two. I'm jealous of you. Well, you just blew your own chance. What does that mean? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Five, four, three, two, one. Ben. I'm going to say three. That's incorrect. Vanessa. Two. Correct. Yeah. Boom. Two. Correct. And Robert. The answer is two. There you go. All, All right. right. Late to the party taking their first lead. lead. Two, Another one. Lead. Yeah. All Good right. job. Question two, category is drama. What acclaimed actress played ex-Marine teacher Luann Johnson in the hit film Dangerous Minds? Don't ask me about the Johnson. Oh, oh that no, was... uh, But true fact about me, I didn't go to school. That's definitely not all. true. You're an educated man. Not really. Mm -hmm. I eat paper. That I believe. Five, four. Michelle three, Pfeiffer? Two, one. Pens down, please. Vanessa. Michelle Pfeiffer. Correct for one point, Drew. Uh, Diane Lane? Incorrect. <laughs> uh, Robert. What? Robert. Live in the gangster paradise, Michelle Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Ben. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. There okay. you go. All right, so still late to the party. Keeping, keeping their lead here, 4-2. All right, next question in action adventure. Who starred as an ex-intelligence officer, Sam, in the 1998 crime thriller, Ronin? Ooh. I get a lot of flack for not seeing movies. I I've seen this movie. Have you seen I did not see this one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <sighs> Four, three, two, one. Drew. Robert De Niro. Correct. Got nothing. Uh, Robert. Bobby D. Correct. Correct. Uh, your name is, is Ben. <laughs> Robert De Niro. <laughs> Correct. Vanessa. I guess Kevin Costner. Oh. Incorrect. All right, so late to the party. That first miss. Pretty, pretty good, though. With 5 4 here, action catching up. Next right. question, category new releases. What was the name of the demigod played by The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, in the Disney hit Moana? I'm surprised that Dwayne Johnson Maui. didn't play Moana. Uh, he could have. He He's got that much. He could have been like an Eddie Murphy. Right. Five, right. Four, three, two, one. Robert. Maui, you're welcome. That is correct. Ben. I said Moana. That's <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maui. Correct. Right. And Drew. I wrote Co. Okay. Correct. Wow. Okay. So late to the party. Now showing their strength Early in animation. Lead. Early lead. All right. So pretty good. Late to the party with a three point lead here. All right. Famous directors who directed and had a supporting role 
as producer Fred Friendly, the 2005 critically acclaimed drama Good Night and Good Luck. I did not see this one either. I read that well. Right. You did read I that did, well. Right? My mom still calls and says that to me every night. Good night and good luck. Yeah. yeah. But she doesn't mean it anymore. Three. That even hurt me. Sorry. Two. One. Pen down. Ben. George Clooney. Correct. Robert Redford. <laughs> okay. Drew. That's uh, Cusack. I got it wrong. Robert. Batman himself, George, George Clooney. Clooney. Robert has All not right. missed. Not Eight, missed. Five. Eight five. Eight five. All, All right. right. Here we go. Next nice question. Nice work, Daniel. Really good work. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> that. Question, man. Comes <laughs> in the category of comedy. Who starred as the freshly dumped Hawaii-bound Peter Bretter in Forgetting Sarah Marshall? What's that? Uh, I get dumped often, Christian. No, I don't think you give yourself enough opportunity to get dumped. Uh, that's probably true, too. And I've never oh, been to Hawaii. Oh, crap. Five, four, three, two. Ah! God. And Vanessa. Got nothing. That's incorrect. Drew? Jason Siegel. Correct, correct, Robert. Ominous tones, Jason Siegel. Correct. <sighs> Jason Siegel. Correct. And action getting a little bit of a jump here, but it's still 9-7. Robert huh? is on fire. Rob has not missed. All right, here we go. Next category. God, I couldn't of think of that one. Fantasy sci-fi. What actress plays Pandora resident Natiri, the Navi, who falls in love with Jake Sully in Avatar? You know, I once painted myself all blue. When was this Zoe Saldana. Before you got set? No, I was at a party. Uh, oh, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Drew. Zoe Saldana. Correct, Robert. Mama Smurf herself, Zoe Saldana. Correct, Ben. Zoe Saldana. Vanessa. Zoe Saldana. Correct. Wow. All right, there you go. Look at that. 11 9. That's 11 9. So your final, final question here. And Robert has not missed. Robert has not missed. Final question category is horror Who's thriller. Robert? Oh, God. Uh, oh. Horror is not my category, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Probably get another miss here. Makes no, there sense. Was that. Yeah, there was that. <laughs> That's good. All right, that final question. Category is horror thriller. A creepy nun and what other popular childhood terror are featured in The Conjuring 2? Uh, five, four, three, two, one. The Crooked Man? Crooked Man? Correct. Ben. A clown. Incorrect. Vanessa. The Crooked Man. Thanks, Clyder Nightmares. Correct. And Drew. I wrote a porcelain doll. That's incorrect, but the debut of Robert, he got all eight extra points. <laughs> nice. Way to go, Robert. No chance to get an extra point here. High score. Did I win? All right. So because Robert hit all eight, he gets an extra question. If he gets this right, it is one more point. All right. Here we go, Robert, for your extra point. Which actor plays the conniving Eric Gordon in Billy Madison? <sighs> Bradley Whitford. For one more point. Wow. wow. That is impressive, what man. Way to go, Rabbit. That, that is awesome. Likes of William Bibiani coming here in the first round and doing that. That's very impressive here. What a debut. Very impressive. All right. Let's go into round number two. Here we go. Round Bring out the wheel of death. Like this. The wheel is going to come out. And. The teams will spin. If they land on anything that they don't like the first time around, they can spin again only once, and they are forced to take that second category. And if it lands on opponent's choice, then they have to choose that. It is worth two points apiece, unless, of course, they go to multiple choice, then it's worth one point. You can steal in this round. Late to the party, you have a commanding lead right now. Would you guys like to go first or second? Oh, we're going to go first. You're going to go first. All right. Give it a good spin, please. And that's a good spin here. We've seen Pressure it. on team action here. There's a good spin. We'll accept right. that spin. Good, I like that spin. Spin is in. Spin is and in. it's going to land on action. action. Oh. Pressure. What are you going to do there? There's Here's a strategy interesting here, strategy Christian. here. They could what take it they off do? the board, but if, if they miss, but if action they miss, could Action could jump in on it. That is the question right now. Need a decision? I five, would spin again. Four. God, that's. We're gonna do it again. You're gonna They're do it again. Spin again. Uh, spin okay. Again. Good choice, right. guys. Changing it up. Changing it up. All right. Oh, so Robert's gonna okay. spin now. Okay. Right. Ooh, oh. Robert's spinning. What, Here we go. Well enough for you. <laughs> <whim of a madman. laughs> and there's the spin, and it's gonna land on. Western. Western. Oh. Western. Okay. Ouch. I don't know if they wanted that. That might have been good. You should have right. stuck with the first. Well, we don't know. Maybe <laughs> Who knows? We don't know enough about them to say whether or not they're going to be good or bad. All right, guys. Category of Western somewhere. John Roca's hat just rose six inches. 
<laughs> Ken, Ken, four inches. Where is Roka? I thought he lived here. <laughs> All right, decorum, decorum. <laughs> Question oh, one. Man. What comedy icon died while filming Wagons East? Oh, um, shit. The late John Candy. That's two points. Wow. God, why can't, okay, why couldn't I think of that? Who portrays gunfighter Jack Wilson in the 1953 classic Shane? Oh. Five. Multiple choice, please. A, Robert Mitchum. B, Charles Bronson. C, Eli Wallach. D, Jack Palance. Five. <sighs> Four. One of the choices. Three. Two. Robert Mitchum. Eli Wally. Incorrect. Correct. Just for the steal. I honestly don't know. Five. We're going to go D, Jack Pounce. That's correct. One point. Good One steal point there steal. by action. Good that would have been my second guess. I, I had no idea. Question three. A small-time rancher agrees to hold a captured outlaw who's awaiting a train to go to court in Yuma in 2007's 310 to Yuma. Who played the rancher? I've got nothing. Christian Bale. It's two points. Two points. Ooh, nice. Late to the party. They are for real. Way to go. They are question four. Who that provided is impressive. the score for Sergio Leone's classic, The Good, The Bad, and The Oh, Earth? fuck. What is his name? Five. Multiple as soon as they say it, I'm going to. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> There's some names that I've never heard of. <laughs> A, Elmer Bernstein. B, Ennio Morcone. C, Bernard Herman. D, Howard Bernard Schoen. Herman? B. That's correct. Correct for one point. All right, I am not a Western fan, Question unlike my stepdad. Five. Question five. Kevin Klein, Danny Glover, and Kevin Costner team up to fight the corruption in what Western? Tombstone? Silverado. That's correct. Two more points. <gasps> 21. I told you, Westerns are not, not my thing. Kids crushing it right now. Final question. <laughs> Final question. I'm glad they're Final crushing question. it, though. In Tombstone. What does each member of the Cowboys gang wear? A red sash. That's correct. Oh. 23. Wow. That is impressive, Lord, guys. What a game for Lakers Party. Wow. So the position that action is in. They need, they're very in the same similar position they were against you guys. Right. They need to have a very strong second round Big or they're going to be in trouble here. Those questions right. came from a coloring book. All right. <laughs> here we go, guys. So give it a good spin. Drew. Written by Ken. All right, ready? <laughs> And Coming spin. from the guy that made her <laughs> re-spin. And there's the spin. There's the spin. It was a mutual decision. Yeah. Sure. And then here we go. Their first spin, and it's going to land on. Uh -huh. We're getting close to it. They're getting close to it. They hit oh, it. Oh, they, they hit, hit it. it. They did what? it again. <laughs> they did it again. Uh, they hit I don't know. action. This is big. Spin again. <laughs> Are you guys going to spin again? Play? I think you guys can do it. We might go to Western how easy those questions were, but I think we'll stay. You're going to stay. All right, here we go. Oh, this sucks. Here we go. All right, guys. Big, big opportunity here for team action. Question one. Who played the Soviet sub commander Marco Ramius in 1990s? Sean Connery. Red October? Sean Connery. Correct for two, two points. points. All right, here we go. In what foreign country does Maggie Grace's character get kidnapped in the hit film Taken? Oh. Was it France? Five, four, three. We're going to take the JTE rule. Just want to hear it one more time. Sure. In what foreign country does Maggie Grace's character get kidnapped in the hit film Taken? I think Five. it's France, but it's been a while since I've seen France. it. France. That's correct That's for correct. two points. Nice. Smart play there. Yeah. Well done by That's Ben. That's when that rule really can help. That was smart. All right, here we go. Next question. Lucy Liu plays Oren Ishii in what action flick? Kill Bill Volume 1. That's correct. There you go. Two more points there for action. We're racing back. All right. Question number four. What year saw the theatrical release of the famous action movies Lethal Weapon, Robocop, and Predator? 1988? 1987. 
That's correct. <sighs> Off by one year. As soon as I said 88, I knew I was wrong. Kelly McGillis, Top Gun character Charlotte Blackwood, goes by what nickname? Charlie. Oh, come on, guys. Four, you call yourself Team Action and you don't three, know this? Two. Multiple choice. Is it A, Diamond, B, Crystal, C, Charlie, Charlie. B, Champagne? Charlie. We're going to see Charlie. Charlie is correct for one point. What a round. Once again, actually doing exactly what they I'm did. I'm surprised that they didn't know that off question. the top of their heads. Question six. Which they call themselves Team Action. Co-starred with Jean-Claude Van Damme in the 1997 action film Double Team. Dennis Rodman. Two more points. <laughs> Team Action. So, yeah, I was trying to reread the question on my screen. <laughs> I knew that. It looked like it was going to be an absolute murder, and it is a close game once again. All right, so here we go. Round number three. It's going to work like this. The competitors are going to pick three numbers from one to 20. One to 20, they're going to pick three numbers. The first one is going to be two. Second one's going to be three, and the third one's going to be five points. All right, so let's start with late to the party. You guys are in the lead here by two. Please pick three numbers from one to 20. We'll go seven chitmunks twirling on a branch, eating lots of sunflowers on my uncle's ranch. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go nine, nine times that Ferris Bueller skipped school. Okay. And? <laughs> and 11. Let's push it to 11. Seven, nine, uh, and 11. Yeah, we're going to do one, two, and three. I'm not going to mess around. Let's That's just do that. <laughs> one, two, and three. Wow. We've been here before. <laughs> All right. So late to the party. Is I hope those are awful categories for action. team action. One, two, and three, which has been dangerous for teams in the past, but they're going for it. All right. So team action. You have to go first here because you are losing. It is you are going to be category number one, and that is the category of directors. Who All will right. be taking the two point? I'll be taking this one. All right, Ben. Who directed the disaster film 2012? That is Roland Emmerich. That's a two point right. question. And uh, he answered it too fast. I, I need to think a few Sachs seconds for that, but. With their two point I would have known it, but they were too fast. It is in the category of classics. So who's going to be answering this one? Classics. All right, I'm going to take it. Uh, two point right. question. Name the British actress best known for playing Southern women in Gone with the Wind and A Streetcar Named Desire. Five, four, three, two. I don't know. One. I do not know. Correct answer was Vivian Lee. All right. Vivian so Lee. now, <sighs> stay with Rachel the party. Who now Vanessa will get the three-point question in number nine. I don't know if you guys heard. Ken, it was Vivian Lee with the answer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Here we it was go. A good try, though, Patrick. Thank you. All right. <laughs> You chose the number nine for nine times at Ferris Bueller Skip School. That category is sports. Sports. Three-point right. question. What actor plays Western University basketball coach Pete Bell in Blue Chips? I never saw it. I... Paul Newman? I have no Can idea. You repeat the question. What actor plays Western University basketball coach Pete Bell in Blue Chips? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say Paul Newman because that's the only thing that's come into mind. Kevin Costner? <laughs> Incorrect. It's a good guess. A good guess. I like the that. answer? Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte. All right. So we're going right. to give late to the party their five point in order to take a lead here <sighs> on team action. Ken. Come on. Absolutely. You chose number come on, guys. 11. And we are going to turn it up to 11. This corresponds to the category of movie quotes. Movie quotes. <sighs> All right. Five point question. Which Al Pacino film features the quote, you're out of order. You're oh, out of order. Jesus. The whole trial is out of order. They're out of order. <sighs> I should know Five. this. Four. And justice for all. That That's five points. Correct. That's five points. Wow. Good job. All right. So they did it. They took a lead Mr. there. Man. They, see, they, now Good job, guys. Here, so Andrew needs to hit his three. Uh, here we go. So we're going to bounce back to Team Action, who chose category two. And that's the category of Disney films. Disney films. Cars. 
All right, here we go. Herbie Rides Again was the sequel to which Disney classic? The Love Bug. Come on, miss it. Miss it, guys. The Love Bug? That's Got correct. Right. All right, so now it comes down to the five-pointer for Team Action. Please miss this. If Team Action hits this, they Please miss will it. win the game in the category of comedy. Category of comedy. All right. What type of product do salesmen Paul Rudd and Sean William Scott hawk in role models? Energy drinks. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, yes. Ben Drew T. Yes. Action. And a new record. Wow. Wow. That, that was something. Wow. That is a new record. Arrogant SOBs. Great job, Rachel Party. You got nothing to be ashamed of. But man, team action with a new record. That is amazing. Until late in the game, much almost like their name. Uh, wow, that was impressive. They had a rough third round. Sometimes the, the, that was a categories yep. fall. Yep. Great game, though. Do not take anything away from team action. I don't. I, any team, they just put every team on notice there because you look what Robert did in that first round. Now Vanessa was hanging there too, and then the second round comes in, and they, it looked like it was over. It looked 14. very similar to what happened. It looked like yeah. a knockout. And it wasn't. Team Action does what they do. They hit that damn action category again. They came back and that they was did ridiculous. it. It was a solid round. Don't take anything away from Team Action. That was a solid third round. Yeah. But Jen Sturger. I got to give Team Action props, but. And team Action. We're going to talk to them right now. <laughs> What's up, movie trivia Schmodown fans? I'm Jen Sturger here with Team Action. Guys, yeah. does that wear you out a little bit? No, I'm bored. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Have you seen us? Do you know Whoa, 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 you narrowly escaped that match. Let's be clear. Na look, I don't know what you mean by nar narrowly. If you mean narrowly you going into the narrow, <laughs> narrowly, yeah, no, not even. <laughs> we <laughs> nine for nine the final nine questions. What I mean, was the final I don't know score? What, you, what was the score? Uh, we scored 31 points. So that Which point, is a new record. I, I will give them props, the record now but... The highest team points in a Schmodown. Congratulations by beating out Rotten Tomatoes. Well, yeah, it seems right. I think we expected that would happen. So. Really? I thought you'd be a little more excited. That's kind of a big deal. Look, Patrick and Jennifer tried really hard out there. That's they did not really, their names. Really <laughs> uh, fine. Brad and Tom or Jessica, whatever. Dave and Sharon. <laughs> whatever. whatever. They did great. They drove all the way here from wherever they're from. That was tough. That was Remember, a, that's guys, a tough drive. you have to pay taxes on your winnings in the sweepstakes, okay? You have to pay taxes on it. Make yeah. Sure so even though oh, you my. Lost, you still got to pay the taxes. Winning. Yeah. So, I mean, thanks for coming though to the charity event. That was really exciting. Yeah, hopefully, Christian yeah. and everybody here, you guys can get lots of hair dye and wheelchairs and the yep. charity fund. Yep. I mean, yep. you know, <laughs> we really wanted to try hard for you there. So, can we drink now or what are we doing? Uh, well, you're answering questions in this interview first. Oh, so, right. are you that good or was this just a fluke? Or is it because you keep landing on action the second round? I'm they are good, but they, they also got lucky by landing on action in Christian real in death. Favor when he wants it, he doesn't otherwise. I mean, we all know that's the case. Clearly, you know, Christian's in our corner. I guess that's I mean, what it, it is. I mean, honestly, if, it, if they'd spun well. a different category in round no, two, actually, it would have been an entirely different game. <laughs> Listen, Jessica, I think it's really sweet of you that you're interviewing us, but we got things to do. We just won again. We got to bring on our next opponents. I don't even know who, who's even what next. What is next? What do you guys want? Who do you want next? Don't we get the belt now? No, that's not how that works. <laughs> you wish. There's a lot of pretenders in this league. New teams coming out of the woodwork. You got tough beats one week and some other whatever. Look, we're here to play somebody good, and I'll tell you, everybody's freaking out right now about this DC movie news team. All right? And oh, because of Wonder Woman. Yeah. That's Look. cool. Yeah, Wonder Woman was a good movie. That's Yeah, that's it's DC. fantastic that's awesome. movie. Go, go Wonder Woman. She's go not, She's Finally. not on that team, but yeah, sure. Finally, okay. DC delivered so a wait, great movie in Wonder Woman. you want to challenge DC movie news? Oh, that's a team. Yes. Yeah, it's a team in this league. Oh, so, my God. Yeah, I'm we're so going to destroy DC movie news. We're going to launch a nuke, and then we'll get late <laughs> to the party to help us react to them. Wait, hang on a second. Are, aren't you dating Roxy from DC Movie News? Look, I'm uh, figuring some things out. Whoa, I don't like the sound right. of that. Hey guys, I'm here with Late to the Party. Guys, that was such an incredible first match for rookies. That was. How does it feel underneath the lights really and good. finally getting a shot at this? Honestly, when it comes to me, um, I 
blanked out on everything behind the cameras. And the lights weren't too daunting, um, but it was knowing that there were so many people behind the cameras watching us as well. Um, but I mean, I just focused in on the questions essentially. Hey, so I'm just excited that I got the first question right. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> baby steps, baby steps. Yeah. You had an incredible first round. Thank you. Yeah, that How was did you prepare for something like that? That the was questions incredible. Were all over the board. You nailed all of them. You got the bonus. I mean, that's insane. Very little dates and a lot of movie watching. <laughs> <laughs> but that later Welcome on, to like, my life. You know, found someone to watch <laughs> movies with me who cared just as much as uh, I did. So Aww. that's how it worked out. Uh-huh. Bringing people together here at the Schmodown. Yep. So let me ask you guys, what were you thinking when they landed on action that second round? Oh, shit. Oh, I thought we were done. Like, I, like it was, oh, they got action. We're over. Well, the whole thing is, is that Westerns is the Achilles heel that we were afraid was going to land on our Yeah, th- that was and bad luck. we landed on action, um, I, we flat out said to each other, there is a real possibility if we do not take this, we are hitting Westerns. And we took the gamble, and we hit Westerns. <laughs> Luckily, they happened to be mostly Westerns we knew. Um, but all in all, I mean, it, I thought it was going to be more damning. What did us in was that third round with the numbers. <sighs> yeah, Robert, what happened that third round? Uh, again, I got a sports question, and I'm not sportsy, <laughs> except but it was for soccer. It so was blue chips. I mean, ladybugs, sure. Major League, why not? Bend it but like blue Bendra. chips, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that came out. It was like NC17 when it came out, and people didn't go see it very often. And yeah, it was a little edgier. But at the time, I just you know I didn't focus in on that because I was more for the sports comedies, and I had no say in it. So had it not gone to her and gone to me still wouldn't have gotten it so right. either way we I know I was hoping for a major league but that didn't happen <laughs> Mighty Ducks at least come on right <laughs> <laughs> So guys I got to ask you I mean we loved having you here today is there a chance you guys would want to come back and play again sometime We Absolutely yes 100% yes Yeah nice. we definitely will be making a return to the Schmodown um, Absolutely It was a lot of fun I mean everybody here is so supportive um, and honestly when it comes down to it there's nothing better for movie nerds to do, grown-up movie nerds now, <laughs> to just, you know, bash each other over movies and figure out who is more victorious. I and I today caught, it was team action. I caught the bug. I'm ready to go again. Yeah, let's do it right now. <laughs> right. Oh, right now? Do yeah, it. Sure. We're going to talk to Christian about that. I want <laughs> Wendy and Dustin. <laughs> 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 right, nice. I would, nice. I would go for that so, match. Guys, as fans, like, do you have a message to fans out there at home that might be thinking about hey i might be able to do this like do you realize what an impact you may be having on fans at home that are like yeah this could happen watch them react to them let that's what i'm doing right now out there let them know that you know movies and that you love movies and that you love the schmodown yeah. just do it and when it comes down to it just watch more movies enjoy them um there's we do critique movies on our channel but when it comes down to it, every single movie we go into watching, um, we enjoy the hell out of them. And that is what we bring when we come here. And it it e- escalates and evolves into a much higher love for these movies. So if you are one of those kids that just watch movies constantly growing up, this is the place for you. You can't end an interview on a better note than that. Thank you so much for coming out Thanks, and playing Jen. with us. To get, uh, we, we loved having you here. We'll definitely see you again. And back to you guys in the booth. Well, look at that. I'm not too surprised. Team Action is calling out DC Movie News, which is starting to get a very interesting mm. spin here, mm. considering that Roxy Stryer, that's got some ben drama attached Bateman's to it. girlfriend, is the manager wow. of that crew. And now we're seeing this back and forth here. Very interesting that that's going down. Yeah. But they still, the one thing with Team Action, you knew they were going to, they didn't give any credit to late to the party whatsoever. <laughs> I'm giving them credit. Yeah, You're I, giving them t- credit. I give them all the credit in the world. That was a fantastic up. match. They were, they were bummed out about the third round, but they were very happy to be here, and they thought that they had it. was very nice to hear from it, and it was very nice for the, the nice words that they said about everybody. But you look, they will be back. You Absolutely. know, I'm, I'll tell you right now, if someone asks me, uh, well, two fans came in, are you going to invite them back? Tomorrow. Yeah. Like, they were they were that good. They, I, that is a team. You asked me if, if Ultimate Schmodown teams are starting tomorrow, late to the party's in there. Uh, hey, Absolutely. Know, I, I have a good authority. They're looking for apartments already in, in, the, in the Southern California region. They're going to they're gonna set up shop and compete. That was something else, man. That was really impressive stuff. Make sure you go find late to the party on Twitter. Find them on YouTube and tell them 
how good they did today because I was impressed. Um, it's not easy to come in here in the lights. We've seen some people that we've worked with for years in this space, they come in and they right under the lights. And you're talking about a perfect round yep. in, in the first round and, and, a real, and a dominant round in second. That was something to see. So guys, make sure that you guys go ahead and comment, like, do all that stuff. Make sure you keep on checking out. If you want to see more matches like this, you got to keep commenting. You got to keep liking. The other thing that you make sure that you check out, the Collider Collision. It's coming up on July. Yeah, 7, buddy. A triple threat match for the title. Looking forward to it. John Rose, watching that and reacting to that and competing against those guys on that one. Yodi Riley. A lot of great matches going on in that one. Go Should be a lot of fun. Check that out. Check out the movie trivia Schmodown page on Schmodown. Facebook. Check us out on Reddit. Do all of it. That's the Pit Boss. I'm Christian Harloff, and now we go to Josh McCuga and Cody doing something stupid. <laughs> What's up, movie trivia Schmodown fans? Josh McCuga here with your fantasy update. You're probably wondering where Cody Hall is. Maybe we'll get a hologram of him. He is not here right now. He is on a mission from God. He is doing Nicolas Cage in Gone in 60 Seconds, the musical, on a cruise ship around <laughs> the world. He'll be back hopefully in a couple of weeks. We're not exactly sure what he's doing. He is, in fact, still with the company. He's still with the fantasy updates. That's all you need to know. More that you need to know, it is team action versus late to the party. Late to the party's debut, they came in hot. They came in real hot, scoring 28 points. They were fans. They were giving us reaction videos. They were usually kind to me, and I appreciate that. They are a team that you should pick up. If they're going to score 28 points match, which who knows? Sometimes you would see a football team score 41 and then 10 the next day. But if you see them coming in, rookie performance, awesome. 28 points. I'm going to be the guy that's going <laughs> to eat his words. I'm going to put him on a plate with a fork and knife. I am eating my words against team action. <laughs> Their first couple of matches, they were middle-of-the-road point-getters. This time, they break the team record. Somehow, they've been studying, <laughs> watching movies. They have ditched gotta their be girlfriends, with that. their mothers, their family. They are watching everything. AMC, TCM, HBO, Showtime, Cinemax. They're watching it all in order to prepare for the showdown, and it is paying off. Pick them up. Trade for them. If you have either of these teams, they are trade bait they are important they are special they are doing something that is awesome if you are fans out there and you want to compete in the showdown you need to do things like late to the party dead be cool be awesome be knowledgeable be nice to josh mccuga that's four <laughs> things that you want to do what's the fifth thing bring pizza that's how you win that's what it's all about it's the movie trivia showdown fans for everything else in the movie's trivia showdown go to frank janish at schmozno.com go to the facebook page start your fantasy teams if you're not in a fantasy league start one with your dog your mom your dad i don't care do it it's awesome i miss you cody we'll see you next time <laughs> Ooh, another behind the scenes Hey guys, if you like this the video, intrigue continues with those button. behind the scenes. Also, make sure you subscribe oh. to our YouTube channel. Whatever with help Wiki. Stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider. All right, guys. So that was a lot of fun. I did not do as well as I had hoped, unfortunately. Got westerns, which is not my category at all. Missed a couple other easy ones. Vivian Lee, I should have known that. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If this is your first time on my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, trailer reaction videos, box office predictions, and this new show competing and playing against the Schmodown. Um, yeah, that's what I do here. So be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Um, until next time, I will see you at the movies, guys. Bye-bye.